Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chuchu and former Kenya National Examination Council Chief Executive Officer Paul Wasanga pleaded their innocence over the Chicken Gate scandal. The two who were sermoned at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission have called for a speedy and thorough probe into the scam to bring it to a reasonable conclusion. It was the turn of the former Kenya National Examination Council CEO Paul Wasanga and Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Churchill to answer to allegations of fraud and corruption in the chicken gate scandal. First up at the EACC was Wasanga, who was grilled for hours before letting in the former IEEC officer. The two maintained their innocence over the chicken gate scam. For NEC, since NEC started 1980, uh, they, they, they have been part with other, with, other, with other institutions. They have also printed examinations. And uh, when I took over at the CEO of 2005, I found them, they were printing examinations for us. Because my name could have been mentioned in name dropping. But if you have evidence to really prove, because uh, you do know the law, if there's evidence from anywhere that can pin down whoever needs to be pinned down so that this country can move forward, that's what I'm encouraging. Uh, we cannot say because uh, your brother was jailed and you live in the same house and you blah, 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 it is, you are also guilty. The Energy Cabinet Secretary, in fact, went ahead to dare anyone with evidence on the chicken gate scandal to present it to the anti-corruption agency. Churchill claims he has never been in contact with the directors of Smith & Usman, jailed recently in London over the scam. To the extent that even an agent of Ayomra possibly accessed me, that is the evidence we are looking for. To Saidiane, to Malizei Changamoto, so that we can move forward and stop occupying our headlines with things which are not helping this country. Taking cognizance of the buzz created by the chicken gate scandal both locally and in the United Kingdom, the former NEC CEO denied demanding for kickbacks to award the United Kingdom best printing firm tenders. Well, all other printers were pre qualified. We have nine other printers which are pre qualified, but the awarding of the tenders in, for Smith House has been above board, where they have been, uh, it's only that they, in, in, in the times when they are printed examinations, they have won the tender. And not, they were, not that they were given free, they have won the tender. The anti-corruption agency is probing top former double IEC and NEC officials over the chicken gate scandal, a multi-million scandal dog with confluence, fraud and bribery in awarding of tenders. Samogina Ketian.